what's up y'all it's a new day uh, I think I'm gonna run some errands real quick I'm gonna go get some double-sided tape so I can make this side stick right here because it never really stuck because I wanted to wrap it and now it's wrapped so I can actually double-side tape it um, I guess the body isn't metal right there or I don't know if it's a my car thing <laughs> where it's been pushed in and bonded over or it's an all E36 thing but there is no metal right there, so I can't put a riv nut in there, so we're just going to double side tape it, which I'm sure shouldn't be a problem because the entire rest of the thing is riv nutted in there, so should not be a big deal at all. Um, believe, I believe in change. <laughs> um, what else am I getting? Oh yeah, I need to get black self tappers. Also, it's kind of amazing and sad at the same time. I like don't want to use this thing as a coaster for my coffee mug anymore because it actually looks good, and I don't want to get coffee stains on it. But yeah, but I also got to get some black self tappers. So I got these ones from Home Depot because this is like the only thing they really had, and I don't want them to be like silver. And they worked pretty perfect, but the head on the screw is like cone shaped and it doesn't sit flush and That will probably drive me mad. So I'm gonna go to Ace Hardware and see if they have anything if not There is something I found at Home Depot, but it's like a Home Depot like 30 minutes away And I don't want to do that because Ace Hardware is like five minutes away So we'll give that a shot first if not then Maybe we'll do some driving But yeah just gonna have my morning coffee. Take care of business. see how much I can get done tonight but I also don't want to be obnoxious and loud so we're gonna go ahead and sand this over fender I'm just gonna basically try and get everything sanded that I need to sand so it's not super noisy and then we can feel free to work into the night <laughs> I was about to put the over fender on and then I realized I still <laughs> haven't finished wrapping this. So I gotta try and fix this door. I think the reason is I put the door handle on a little bit weird. And yeah, I think I need to take it off, put it back on the right way, and then we should be chilling. We're in.
unfortunately, I have just learned that I do, definitely do not have enough vinyl wrap for even the front bumper and nose panel and this over fender, which sucks because it's super freaking ugly because I sanded it. But it's not a big deal. Uh, we can just whip it like this. It looks pretty good if you get it from the one specific angle, but this is all the wrap we have left, and that's probably five feet by four feet, and unfortunately, I can maybe do the nose panel if I get lucky, like stretched it a little bit, but the bumper and the over fenders are both over five feet, or else, if they were like at five feet, I could probably get away with it, but unfortunately, they are not. So at this point, I gotta order more vinyl wrap, which is probably gonna take like a week, week and a half, so. We just want to be finished for this stage, so we still got to do the mirrors. We got to wrap that trim piece on the trunk keyhole thing. Then we got to finish this fender as well, and then just put on the trim. We're pretty much finished. Um, I still have to trim out those vents on the hood. That's pretty much it. And then I ordered the... I still have to put the trim on the windshield as well. Still have to put... The rear window trim that I just ordered, I still gotta put the trim or like little rubber seal thing that goes underneath the rear windows or the side rear windows. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think we'll finish, we'll be able to finish all that up tomorrow. We'll see how the mirrors go. I, I don't wanna be a, a wuss, but I'm not super confident about that. If you don't know, we have fake Ganadors and that looks like the most difficult thing to wrap on the planet Earth. And there's only one video on YouTube and no offense to the guy, but it's not very helpful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm still stoked on how far we've made it. Like from the angle from the back, right? Where you can see all the trim and it's all one color. Besides the mirror, it looks so freaking cool. And I still haven't even seen it in the sunlight. I haven't even, I haven't even moved the car in like a week besides literally moving it from the left to the right over here, but I'm very happy with how it's turning out. But I'm about to go get some food, probably some canes, because it's like 11.30, and then watch some new girl, uh, and freaking pass out, hang out with the girlfriend. That's it, that's my life. Canes, new girl, girlfriend. That's really all I need to be happy, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow. All right, what's up, y'all? It's a new day. I just took my mic off because it's dead and the camera looks so weird. But it feels like a good day. I feel like I've had a massive weight lifted off my shoulders being able to take a break from this. And I can also start on some civic projects, which is pretty exciting. It's also so nice being able to walk outside and it's freaking like warm and not freezing cold. I'm probably going to regret saying that in like two weeks when it's like 100 degrees out, but... There's mosquitoes everywhere, but as of right now, it's like fucking perfect. It's like warm, but not too hot, with like a little breeze. It's very nice, but here we're just gonna get to work. We still gotta wrap this fender, put the door back on. I wanna wrap this trim to make it the same color as the car. We still gotta put all the side trim on the driver's side. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these mirrors, like I said before. Really not confident in wrapping these, but I don't know, because I have to order paint so I can paint the window trim, and I could just do those gloss black. It does come matte black from the factory, but I feel like gloss wouldn't look bad, and then I can just use that gloss black for these mirrors as well, because you can get like that 2K spray paint, and it looks really good. I can see myself in the mirror. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> shit looks <laughs> tough to wrap, bro, look, I don't know, but black might look a little weird too, just because we kind of have the carbon and green theme going on, I don't know, let me know down in the comments if you guys have an opinion on that, I feel like the black would just kind of make it disappear, which would be kind of the goal, because obviously it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb right now. Uh, but green would obviously look best, but I don't know. that looks like quite the challenge to be quite honest, but maybe we'll give it a shot. We'll just be using a scrap piece of vinyl anyway, so it's worth a shot.
Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, drop a like for me. It just helps me out. Uh, help the channel grow. But the car looks freaking awesome. Obviously, we still need to do the front bumper and the rear quarter, but it feels like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders temporarily because I'm pretty much at a point where I can't do any more. We're gonna order some paint for the mirrors and we're gonna order more vinyl wrap. And then when that comes, we can finish everything up. But It looks incredible. The color choice is perfect. I didn't even know, but like it goes perfectly with like the bronze rims and the gold seat belt. It's it's pretty freaking awesome. Very proud of myself for getting to this point because when I finished that trunk, I was like, man, I don't know about this. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you next time.